Hey guys, it's Tim with PT Progress, and uh, a lot of people are not gonna like what I have to say in this video, but I have to say something because there's just a big difference between what physical therapists actually make and what people think a physical therapist should make. I'm also gonna share some ways to improve your pay and keep more of that money that you make as a physical therapist, so be sure to stick around to the end for that. When you think about how much a physical therapist makes a year, what numbers come to mind? Is it 60,000 or 80,000, maybe even $120,000 a year? And does this number change, or should this number change if you have a doctorate degree? Do doctors of physical therapy make more because of their degree? Should doctors of physical therapy make more because they're doctors of physical therapy? Well, if you're like most people, the expectation of making six figures as a doctor of anything, it might lead you to believe that a doctor of physical therapy should make $100,000 or more. And while it is possible to earn six figures in physical therapy, the average starting salary of a PT still sits around $88,000 a year, while the average starting salary for a typical outpatient physical therapist is around $70,000 a year. So why that difference? Why is it that some physical therapists can make well over $120,000 a year, and then others make $70,000 a year? How much should a physical therapist make? Well, as a physical therapist myself, I've held jobs that have paid in that $60,000 range, $80,000, and even $120,000 in certain settings. And what I've learned is that a higher paying job in physical therapy has nothing to do with your degree. It doesn't matter what school you went to, how much debt you have, and honestly, it doesn't matter how many years of experience you have in certain fields for certain paying jobs. And, and let's just address this elephant in the room here, because the argument that I've been hearing more and more often in the past few years is this, we're doctors of physical therapy, we deserve to make six figures. And you know what, that argument, it just doesn't sit right with me for a few reasons. Because one, it, it infers that someone deserves a certain pay simply because they've completed a degree. They've completed a certain certificate or achieved a certain title, and I get it because we worked hard in PT school and we've completed this three-year DPT. Here's a fact, half of graduating PTs have paid more than $150,000 for that DPT, and unfortunately they have the student loans to prove it, and, and maybe this expectation of being paid like a doctor has created this sort of, sort of notion in physical therapy that we should be making six figures. But the reality is that most jobs in physical therapy, they pay well under six figures, starting in the sixty dollars to $70,000 range and averaging out around $88,000 a year. And that title of doctor of physical therapy it doesn't mean that you're gonna earn more. There are plenty of doctors of PT, heck, there are plenty of doctors of chiropractic who earn 60, 70, $80,000 a year. So that idea that a doctor of anything should be making six figures or more, it really doesn't hold much water. I think what's happening is that people are taking the incomes of physical therapists and they're comparing it to the incomes of physicians simply because, well, we, we're doctors of physical therapy now and, and doctors should be able to make the income of a doctor, right? Look at ZipRecruiter, for example. It shows the average salary of a physician is around $200,000 a year. But what it doesn't show in these charts is, is the average hours that they work, or the average number of patients that they see per day, or the average number of procedures performed, or, or the cost of those procedures, and the staff costs, and the overhead, and the practice itself. The point is that there are so many other factors in play besides the degree and the title. And I know that most physical therapists understand this, but there are some people who, who don't know this stuff and they assume that a doctor of physical therapy should make the same as a physician because they're a doctor of something. The fact of the matter is that physical therapists and physicians don't make the same amount and that's okay. But what's not okay is the second argument that I keep hearing about how much people think physical therapists should make. And that's the idea that PTs should make six figures because they've taken on six figures of student loans. Look, there's no guarantee or promise that you should be making six figures simply because you've signed a promissory note and borrowed $100,000 or $150,000 in student loans to become a physical therapist. I was there too. And look, if you're there right now, I'm sorry, I, I wish someone had spoken up earlier and warned you about taking on $150,000 in student loans so that you can earn $70,000 a year. And the reality is that you just can't expect to pay off this amount of debt very quickly while working a job in an outpatient clinic earning sixty dollars or $70,000 a year. You're gonna have to do something different if you wanna make six figures. And the good news in physical therapy is that you don't have to change careers entirely, but 
you do have to consider a different type of, of job, a therapy job that pays better, especially if you have six figures of student loans hanging over your head. And this is where PT students and new grads get a little nervous because the jobs that pay well are in travel therapy and in home health. You also have the ability to earn a high income as a PRN or a fill-in physical therapist, but those hours can be really variable and they're not as consistent as travel or home health. And PT schools, they're not gonna like me for this because they're always telling people to take a few years to, to work in a clinic and avoid travel therapy and home health until you have a few years under your belt. Let me know if you've heard that before from, a, from someone in PT school. For some reason, we've got this idea, we have this belief that new graduates should not have uh, jobs in home health or, or take jobs in uh, travel therapy. And I think that advice is absolute garbage. Whether you're a brand new grad or a PT who has three years of experience and has, still has six figures of student loans, I'm all about recommending travel therapy and home health as a way to earn six figures or more as a physical therapist. Because it's not a matter of how much you should make as a PT. There's no magic number that justifies your worth as a physical therapist. You might be debt free, you might work part time as a PT, you might earn $40,000 a year and absolutely love your, your current work life balance because you can stay home, that's great. But if you're a new grad with $150,000 in loans, it's not a matter of thinking whether or not you should be making six figures uh, with your current job as an outpatient therapist where they only wanna pay you $70,000 a year because the opportunity to make $100,000 or more is out there. You just have to be willing to do the work that others aren't willing to do. I'll say that again, there's work to be done. You just have to be willing to do that work and the pay will follow. And I've been in your shoes. I, I, I've been an outpatient therapist at first earning $70,000 a year. Then I became a home health PT and I averaged over $50 an hour, which put me above that six figure mark as a physical therapist. And, and now I do PRN or fill in and I have that ability to have, have more time and, and, and space to practice in a way that I want to. But there are aspects of the job that just aren't glamorous, but, but frankly, that's why it pays more as a home health therapist or even a travel therapist where you need to have more flexibility. You've got to find the work that people aren't willing to do and you'll find the higher pay that follows it. But you also have to be really smart about the time that you spend doing your work. One of the fastest ways to improve your pay in therapy, especially home health physical therapy, is by improving your efficiency. When you're paid on a per patient basis, the more efficient you can be with your schedule and the treatments you provide and especially your documentation, the more income you'll earn because of it. It's part of the reason why you can earn $100,000 or $120,000 or more in home health or in travel therapy. Look, when I was a new grad considering home health PT, I wish I had the chance to sit down with someone for a week to figure out their process and to see their system and how they were able to be more efficient with their treatments and documentation. Uh, because if you have a clear cut example of home health documentation, uh, that can be a fast way to save 30 to 60 minutes a day. So you're not trying to reinvent the wheel with every patient. You're gonna be able to help more people finish your notes faster during the day, maybe even see another patient. And then you could realize that six figures of income that you need to pay off your student loans. It's part of the reason why I created my own templates, my own documentation templates, so that I could find the inspiration to write the skilled treatment that I needed. That's the point of, of offering that to you as well. You can grab those in the description below because if you're considering home health or travel therapy, having some documentation templates from, from others to see what their notes are like so you can be more efficient, that's going to save you a ton of time and a ton of stress so that you can focus on being efficient as possible and help as many people as possible in the limited amount of time that you have. Not to mention, it's gonna put you on a faster path to earning six figures as a home health or a travel therapist. So you can check out those templates at ptprogress.com slash templates. I'll put the link in the description as well. And I'm interested to know what you think. Should a physical therapist make six figures? Have you considered a higher paying PT job yourself like in home health or travel therapy? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.